Welcome to Badalona and our journey to triumph and get above Barcelona. Today we start our campaign in season one, the tactic, the players. Where's the fun in Barcelona when you can be Badalona? Welcome to day one. There we go, we're hiding the landmarks. Why is it a landmark season? 75th season. First off, let's sort that face out. Much better. Now, as far as the squad go, obviously, we've got absolutely no idea who these players are. Let's be real about this. This is the Spanish fourth division. The club info screen does tell us, though, that we've got a key player in Fran Cabrilla and a top prospect in Peque Polo. But the undoubted star of the team is Facundo Garcia. He's got seven caps at Argentina under 20. His top line value is a million pounds. I have no idea how he's found himself at Badalona, but thank God we've got him. So at this point, when we're assessing the squad, I'm going on transfer value down the column, potential stars, ability stars, I'm not that interested in because that's their opinion. I need to forge my own opinion. And to do this, we're going to use the filters like I used in the previous video, and that'll show us what we've got to work with. So like I said, I focus on this on a video on the channel. I'll go up to this section here, customize current view, and then you can see down here, I've imported these views here. And these are kind of the ones that I'm going to look for. So for example, if I've got a Stinger wing back, these across the top here will tell me the key attributes for our wing backs. And if I've got any decent in the squad, we'll filter this down so we just focus on the actual wing backs. And bang, I instantly can see I've got a couple that are quite good. In fact, there's quite a few, so I'm quite happy. We do this for all the positions in the team, and I can forge, hopefully, my starting 11. Now, tactic wise, after having a look at the squad, I'm going to go over 4 2 4. It's pretty simple stuff. You can see there's not many team instructions down the side. The player roles are not that exotic. Other than one, I've got a register in there. Not totally sold on that, but that man, Facundo Garcia, is the guy I've got lined up for that. So if we can have him in there, he could run the whole team. That's the plan. Meanwhile, Arch Nemesis Barcelona are no doubt planning for their preseason, even though they've already done 143 million in transfers in and transfers out 10. That deficit is balmy. So I haven't analysed my squad. I think that's the sort of starting 11 I'm going with. I'm happy with most of it. There's a few positions I'm not too keen on. Wingers, I couldn't find a good one, so I'm going to have to try and find one. And this role here, Peke Polo Mint. I don't think he's going to be the boy, actually. So we're going to chuck him on the bench. So a couple of wide men, which are kind of vital for a 4-2-4 system, is what we're lacking. And that's what we're going to try and find in the transfer market. The rest of the team I'm quite happy with. Quite happy with. For this level of football, I think it's going to be okay. If you saw the intro to the series, you'll know that our transfer budget is zero and the wage budget is minus zero. So we're in a bit of a pickle here. So to find players is going to be a bit tough. For example, I thought I'd found my dream centre-back in Big Saturday here from Nigeria. I went up to contract to sign the man. But unfortunately, he wanted 1.8 thousand and we could offer him 230 quid. You can't even buy a PlayStation 5 for that. So to get some bodies in, it's going to be a completely new approach. We can't go with contract status unattached, so we can't even afford free transfers, unbelievably. So let's drop that down to any, and we're going to go back to listed. So I'm going to go for players on loan and hope for players that are basically a free hit. Now, while looking around, I was staggered to see Bobby Duncan, English, at one of the Spanish lower league teams. Now, Bobby Duncan was the player who was formerly of Man City, Liverpool and Fiorentina. Then Derby, he's just completely lost his way. He's now ended up in the Spanish third division. So this is a list I'm going to have to work with. All these players down here are on the loan list. And they're not the greatest players. There's some from the Spanish third division, which is probably where we're going to go. If we try and get them from the Spanish first or La Liga, the wages will absolutely kill us. But the good news is we've managed to get some players in and it's cost us not a penny. Beautiful. So first through the door is Adrissa. Now I plan to use him as the winger on the right hand side. He's got acceleration, he's got pace. In from Lugo, who are way higher than us. This is a potentially quality player. He's 22, Mauritian. Luis Piros came in as well on the left-hand side or up front from Uruguay, but he's on loan from Merida. Again, a couple of notches up. And you can see where I focus on acceleration and pace, but he's also got really nice technicals in crossing, dribbling, finishing, and some flair. I like him. We allowed ourselves one more signing, Xavier Stasio, back up right back. I didn't want to sign him because of the slit in his eyebrow, but we needed that cover. Another thing I did from day one is reshape the entire backroom staff. We've got a full team in now in terms of coaching and recruitment. And if you have a look at the coaching team comparison, the highest average in second division 
we are pretty damn good. We're the best in the fitness stakes, and we're also the best in the mentals and tactical. So I'm really happy with that. Good to build on. Same with the recruitment team. We are the best in the division. Let's not talk about the medical team. They're there. That's about it. Preseason was okay. The first three games were rough. Tenerife, Real Abade and Alaves, all teams from way higher than us. They're from the La Liga Santander, so the division of La Liga. So that was a bit rough. But after that, we faced teams of our level and we went undefeated. So it was promising for the start of the season. First game of the season, Marquez down the right-hand side to debut in Adrissa, who fought in a lovely ball into Piro on his debut to put us in front. All looking really good. Then out of nowhere, on the hour mark, Mallorca B team with the cross and Diabate made it 1-1. How in the blue hell did we draw this match? The next clutch of games were good. Espanyol B, we smashed them 3-0, Edgar getting a couple. Another good win against Valencia Mestalla, 2-0, so we're not conceding goals now. We made it three wins on the spin with a 3-1 win against Formentera. Edgar, that man again on the score sheet. Edgar is my 35-year-old linchpin of a striker. He's at target forward, he's been around, he's 32, but you look down his attributes, there's not a lot he can't do. I expect him to score a bucket load of goals this season. Meanwhile, Barca, they start the season kind of struggling. They won four, but they lost two. Oh, never mind. The fantastic run continued. We drew against Pino at Deportivo 1-1, but after that, it was successful wins against Sanguntino, Ibiza, Manresa, and Laredo Esportivo. This led us to the Hercules game. What they are doing in this league, I have absolutely no idea. Look at that stadium. 29,500 and it's a thing of beauty. Do my research on the team. You can see they've got this guy called Jack Harper up front. Now he is worlds away from our players. Look at his history. This is the kid that was going to be the next big thing. Started at Real Madrid, Brighton, and he's ended up at Hatafe for 1.3 million and been on loan everywhere. He's never kicked on, but now he's in our league. So we went into the match with high hopes, but we soon found out that Hercules are a class above us. They sliced us open like a knife through butter, went 1-0 up, and a second soon followed through that man Harper. We should never have clicked on him, and he put him 2-0 up. At half time, we hadn't had a shot on goal. We made some changes and were better in the second half, but yeah, they're really good. But as it stands, crew, that's not too bad, is it? We've played 10, we've won 7, drawn 2, and we've only lost that one game against Hercules. The problem is, only one go up from this division, then the next four go into a weird playoff situation. So we're in a bit of trouble. But all hail this man. He's been renamed Eddie Edgar because he just keeps on coming up trumps. He's scored eight in 10. He's going to be top scorer in this league. Bookmark it. Look, the start of the season, we've scored 19 in 10. We've only conceded seven. There's one game we've lost. I'm positive about this. We've only made them a couple of signings as well. If only Hercules were in this league. Meanwhile, many leagues away, I mean many leagues away, Barcelona, are sitting second. They've lost three, and they are way behind Real Madrid. I take no joy in that, honestly. That's where we sit after 10 matches then. Not too bad, we need to bounce back after that game, but I'm sure we will. We look pretty good, and this formation's done as well. I'll give you a quick look at it. Still working on the tactic here and there. I've called it a bad Shango. You can see what the basis of it is. Nice wide play, a couple of solid fullbacks backing them up, and then we've got the Registar Garcia, who's a class above everyone in the team pulling the strings with the two guys up front just plundering the goals by the way remember what i said about using the youth team and we're gonna and amazingly we've got a load let me explain so badalona is our new feeder team brought from the original badalona remember badalona merged with costa brava so we've got the badalona squad we've got the under 19 squad which I haven't got any plays through yet and we've got the badalona under 19 squad as well along with the youth candidates oh but the good news is we do have Pitu on that and he's got working with youngsters of 20. So I'm hopeful that he will bring some through. So that's where I'll leave you for the first episode. Badalona, we're doing great. Barcelona, I don't care about them at the minute. We're doing all right. I'll see you next time where we continue this assault on the Secunda Division, RAF Grupio 3. Amb molt bones individualitats, amb un equip que juga molt bé a futbol. Nanos molt joves que fa tres anys que juguen junts.